And welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. I am Jordan Messenger at the Word of God Senator of Briscoe, and today we're going to be reading 1 Chronicles 1 through 3 and John 5 25 through 47. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Historical records from Adam to Abraham to Noah's son. First Chronicles 1. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalah, Jared, Enoch, Methahil, Solom, Lamash, Noah, the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The Jephethites, the sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Midiai, Jaron, Tubal, Meshka, and Teraz. Sons of Gomer, Ashakis, and Rephatha, and Tigerma, the sons of Javan, Elisha, Tereshisha, the Chittles, and the Radonites, the Hamites, the sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan, the sons of Cush, Seba, Havla, Sabat, Rama, and Sabatech, the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush was the father of Nimrod, who became a mighty warrior on earth. Egypt was the father of the Lydites, Anamites, Lahabites, and the Fethites, Pathrushites, Kalashites, and from whom the Philistines came, and the Caphethites. Canaan was the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and of the Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites, Gregishites, Hivites, Archites, Sinites, Arvidites, Zamorites, and Hamathites, the Smith, Smites, the sons of Shem, Elam, Asher, Arafax, and Adlud, and Aram, the sons of Aram, Uz, Hul, Gather, and Meshekha. Arphax was the father of Shelah, and Shelah the father of Eber. Two sons were born to Eber, one named Peleg, because of his time the earth was divided. His brother was named Joktan. Joktan was the father of Alamad, Shelah, Hezumabath. Jera, Hadaram, Uziel, Dekala, Obadel, Abed, Abed Meal, Sheba, Ophir, Halva, and Joba. All these were sons of Joktan, Shem, Arphax, Shela. Eber, Peleg, Ru, Suraj, Nehor, Terah, and Abraham. That is Abraham. Oh, Abram. That is Abraham. The family of Abraham. The sons of Abraham, Isaac and Ishmael. Descendants of Hagar. These were their descendants. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Naboth, the firstborn of Ishmael, Keter, Abiath, Ab, Adabiel, Mebasam, Mishmela, Duma, Messiah, Hadad, Tima, Jutern, Naphish, and Kedema. These were the sons of Ishmael. The seven sons of Keturah. The sons born to Keturah, Abraham's concubine, Zimrah, Jackson, Midian, Midian, Ishbak, and Shaula. The sons of Jackson, Sheba, and Dedan, the sons of Midian, Ephah, Ephah, Hanak, Abedah, and Eldadah. All these were descendants of Kutra, descendants of Sarah, Abraham was the father of Isaac, the son of Isaac, was Esau in Israel. Esau, sons, the sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Rahul, Jehuash, Jalam, and Korah, the sons of Eliphaz, Taman, Omar, Zepho, Gadam, and Kenez, by Chemina, Amalek, the sons of Raul, Nathan, uh, Nahath, sorry, not Nathan, Nahath, Zerah, Shamha, and Mizah, the people of Suri and Edom. The sons of Zeri, Lotan, Shobal, Zebedon, Anaha, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishain. The sons of Lotan, Cori, and Homan, or Homa, Homam. Oh, Timon was Lotan's sister, the son of Shobal. Alban, Manahath, Abel, Shefu, and Onam, the sons of Zebedon, Ahai, and Ana, the sons of Ana, Dishon, the sons of Dishon, Hamden, Ishman, Ithran, and Kurin, the sons of Ezer, Bilhan, Saban, and Achan, the sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aaron, the rulers of Edom. These were the kings who reigned in Edom before any. Israelite king reigned. Bela, son of Eor, whose city was named Dinahaba. And when Bela died, jo Joba, son of Zerah, from Bozerah, succeeded him as king. And when Jobed, Jobed died, Hushman, Husham, sorry, Husham, from the land of Terminites succeeded him as king. And when Hushim died, Hadad, son of Bedadad, who defeated Midden in the country of Moab, succeeded him as king. His city was named Abath. And when Hadad died, Saw Samala from 
Mercifully succeeded him as king. And when Samoa died, Shaul from Reboth uh, on the river succeeded him as king. And when Baal Hanan died, Hadad succeeded him as king. His city was named Po, and his wife's name was Mezabal, daughter of Metatred, the daughter of Mezahab. Hadad also died. The chiefs of Edom were Temana, Alva, Jethro, Ohalabama, Ella, Pinion, Kenza, Kenez, Timon, Mibizar, Megadali, and Aram. These were the chiefs of Edom, Israel's sons. 1 Corinthians 2. These were the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simon, Levi, Judah, Eskara, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher, Judah, to Hezron's sons, the sons of Judah, Ur, er, Onan, and Shelah. These three were born to him by a Canaanite woman, the daughter of Shu, Ur, er, Mm. Judah's firstborn was wicked in the Lord's sight, so the Lord put him to death. Judah's daughter in law, Tamar, bore Perez and Zerah to Judah. He had five sons in all. The sons of Perez, Hezron, and Hamul. The sons of Zerah. Zimri, Ethan, Haman, Calcul, and Dorda, five in all. The sons of Carmi, Archer, who brought trouble on Israel by violating the ban on taking devoting things, devoted things, and the sons of Ethan, Azariah. And the sons born to Hezron were Jeremiah, not Jeremiah, not Jam, I mean, sorry, Jeremiah, Ram, and Caleb. And from Ram, sons of Hezron, Ram was the father of Amandab, and Abandab the father of Nashon, and the leader of the people of Judea. Nashon was the father of Solomon. Solomon, the father of Boaz, Boaz, the father of Obed, and Obed, the father of Jesse. Jesse was the father of Elib, his firstborn, the second son, Anamdad, the third, Shimeah, the fourth, Nathaniel, the fifth, Radii, the sixth, Ozim, the seventh, David. Their sister was Zuriah and Abigail. Zuriah's three sons were Abishai, Joab, and Eshel. Abigail was the mother of Amsa, whose father was Jether the Ishmaelite. Caleb, son of Hezron. Caleb, son of Hezron, had children by his wife. Ezebah, and by Jorath. These were the sons Jezer, Sheba, and Eridon. When Azabah died, Caleb made, married Ephrath, who bore him her. Her was the father of Uri, and Uri the father of Bezel. Later, Hezron, when he was 60 years old, married the daughter of Mechir, 
the father of Gilead. He made love to her, and she bore him Sejub. Sejub was the father of Jair, who controlled 23 towns in Gilead. But Gusher and Aram captured Hapaloth, Jair, as well as Kenneth, with its surrounding settlements, 60 towns. All these were descendants of Mekur, the father of Gilead. And after Hezron died in Caleb, Ephraim, Abijah, his wife of Hezron, bore him Asher, the father of Tika, Jeremel, son of Hezron. The sons of Jeremel, the firstborn of Hezron. Ram, his firstborn, Mbuna, Oren, Ozen, and Ahijah. Jeremel had another wife whose name was Hathra. She was the mother of Onam. The sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jeremel, Maz, Jamin, and Eker, the sons of Onim, Shammai, and Jade, the sons of Shammai, Nabed, and Abishur. Abishur's wife was named Abihai, who bore him Ahaban and Molid. The sons of Nadab, Seled, and Aphim. Seled died without children. The sons of Aphim, Aish, who was the father of Shishan, and Shishan was the father of Ahaliah, the son of Jada, Shamari's brother, and Jather, and Jonathan. Jather died without children. The sons of Jonathan, Peleth and Zaza. These were the descendants of Jeremiah. Shishan had no sons, only daughters. He had an Egyptian servant named Jara. And Shishan gave his daughter in marriage to his servant and Jara, and she bore him Atai. Atai was the father of Nathan. Nathan, the father of Z Zadab, and Zadab, the father of Ethel, Ethel, the father of Obed, Obed, the father of Jehu, Jehu, the father of Azariah, Azariah, the father of Helez, Helez, the father of Elisha, Elisha, the father of Sisamai, Sisamai, the father of Shalom, Shalom, the father of Jechamiah, and Jechamiah, the father of Elisham, the clans and of Caleb, the sons of Caleb, the brothers of Jeremiah, Misha, his firstborn, who was the father of Zepha, and his son Mersha, who was the father of Hebron. The sons of Hebron, Korah, Tapuha, Rechem, and Shema. Shema was the father of Rechem, and Rechem the father of Jorkem. Rechem was the father of Shimei. The sons of Shimei were Moan and Moan. Mo Moen and Moen was the first of Bethlehem. There, there we go. All right. The sons, the sons of Shemai was Moen, and Moen was the father of Bethlehem. Caleb's concubine, Iphia, was the mother of Haran, Mo Moza, and Engeza, or Gezez, sorry. Haran was the father of Gezez. The son of Jehai, Rechem, 
Jotham, in Geshem, Pilet, Ephah, and Shephah. And Caleb's concubine, Mechah, was the mother of Sherber and Terhana. She also gave birth to Sheheba, the father of Menemenemah, and to Shepha, the father of Mechabena, and Gibeah. Caleb's daughters were Akshah, and these were the descendants of Caleb. The sons of her, the firstborn of Ephrath, Shobal, the father of Kirath Jerem, Salam, Salama, the father of Bethlehem, and Kirath, the father of Beth Yagar. The descendants of Shobal, the father of Kirath Jerem, were Kiroi, half the Methodites and the clans of Kareth, Jerem, the Ithrites, Pulthites, Shumathites, and Mishrites. From these descendants descended the Zorhites and Eshelites. The descendants of Solomon, Bethlehem, the Nethophites, O Arteroth, Beth, Joab, half the Menethites and Zorites, and the clans of scribes who lived in Jebez, the Terathites, Shemathites, and Scathathites, Hamath, the father of the Rechabites. The sons of David. First Chronicles 3. These were the sons of David born to him in Hebron. The first was Ammon, and the son of Ahaniel of Jezreel. The second, Daniel, the son of Abigail of Carmel. The third, Absalom, the son of Machakiah, daughter of Talamah king of Geshur. The fourth, Abijam, Abijah, the son of Haggith. The fifth, Shephatiah, the son of Abitha. And the sixth, Ethram, by his wife, Elga. These six were born to David in Hebron, and where he reigned seven years and six months. David reigned in Jerusalem thirty-three years, and these were the children born to him there. Shamamu, uh, Shobad, uh, Shobad, Nathan, and Solomon. The four, these four were by Bathsheba, daughter of Ammonah, Ammonah. There were also Abahur, Ishua, Eliphet, Nogah, Nepagah, and, and Jophiah, Elishma, Elida, and Eliphet, nine in all. All these were the sons of David, besides his son, sons by his concubines, and Tamra was their sister. The kings of Judea, Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abijah his son, Isaiah his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Jerom his son, Ahazah his son, Joash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham his son, Ahaz, his son, Hezekiah, his son, Manash, his son, Ammon, his son, Josiah, 
his son. The sons of Josiah, Johanan, the firstborn, Jehokim, the second son, and Zedekiah, the third, Shalom, the fourth. The succession are successors of Jehokim, Jehokim, his son, and Zedekiah. The royal line after the exile, the descendants of Jehoshim, the captive, Shishalath, his son, Mekarim, Pediah, Shazer, Jechemiah, Hoshjema, and Nadabiah, the sons of Pediah, Zerubbabel, and Shimei, the sons of Zerubbabel, Mushalam, and Hananiah. Shalomath was their sister. There were also five others. Hajba, Ohal, Berkia, Kashjadiah, and Jehusheb, Hest. The descendants of Hananiah. Pelethai and Jehashiah and the sons of Rahiah of Aaron, of Obadiah, and of Shechaniah, the descendants of Shechaniah, Shemiah, and his sons, Hudashesh, Igiel, Bariah, Neriah, and Shephat, six in all, the sons of Neriah, Ilionia, Hezekiah, and Azarekim, three in all, the sons of Ilonia, Hadaviah, Elabshiba, Peliabeth, Akrab, Johanna, Delilah, and Ani, seven in all. And that was First Chronicles. 1 through 3. Uh, now we will be turning to John 5, 25 through 47. Very truly I tell you, at a time is coming, and has now come, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to judge, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done what is good will rise to live, and those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned by myself. I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. Testimonies about Jesus If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies in my favor, and I know that his testimony about me is true. You have seen, sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. Not that I accept human testimony, but I mention it to, that you may be saved. John was a man that burned and gave light, and you chose for a time to enjoy his light. I have testimony weightier than that of John for the works that the Father has given me to finish, the very works that I am doing. Testify that the Father has sent me, and that the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. 
you have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one he sent. You study the scriptures diligently, because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. And yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know you, and I know that you do not have the love of God in your hearts. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. But if someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe, since you accept glory from one another, but do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? But do not think, I will accuse you before the Father, you accusers. Uh, your accuser is Moses, on whom your hope is set. If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But since you do not believe what he wrote, how are you going to believe what I say? And that was John 5, 25 through 47, which concludes the Bible with Frisco 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering First Chronicles 4 through 6 and John 6, 1 through 24. Father, I just thank you for your word. Because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow, because well, God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are, too. Thank you. And God bless you. Please like and share.